you're looking to see if the dog can self-regulate because a lot of dogs can. A lot of dogs be like, fuck you. And then once they said their piece, it's over and they calm down. That's entirely different than fuck you and they mean it and they keep going and they keep going and they keep going and they want to get in there. Those are two totally different dogs. My game plan is going to be totally different for those dogs. And the only way that I was able to come to that conclusion is to allow the dog to show me whether or not it can self-regulate or show me whether it's about that life, right? And you got to do that by allowing the dog to go and not say anything to the dog and not distract the dog and not throw treats. Fucking go. If no one gets involved in this display and tries to communicate to you, what do you do? Can you calm down on your own? Are you being hit with adrenaline? Is it going to take 12 minutes when you get hit with adrenaline? Or is this choice? Are you just saying your piece? Maybe a, a defensive posture, right? So important because only through taking a second pass at the assessment with a conflict-seeking dog was I able to understand the second layer to this dog to change my strategy and change my plan. Had I not brought out Juju, the conflict-seeking dog, and we ended the session there, I would have given the owners the advice to go out, use distance, the dog just needs more exposure, let's just get the dog comfortable with seeing dogs and being around dogs, and all the while, the second a fucking dog barks, different dog. I'm leading them into a fucking trap, right? Fucking assess the dog and know the dog before you tell the owners what to do, right? You really do have to like have it all figured out before you say, now go do this.